To another virus, this one is sending hundreds of American kids to the hospital. The enterovirus is taking a dangerous new turn. The CDC is investigating whether muscle weakness or paralysis in non-Colorado kids is connected to the virus. Forty states confirmed cases of the illness that swelled when the school year started. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. So tell me how you see this connection. I mean, paralysis is a very scary consequence. It certainly is. This is a virus called Enterovirus D68, and it's from a family of enteroviruses. Polio is an enterovirus, so we know enteroviruses can affect the neurologic symptom. In fact, there was an outbreak earlier this year in the state of California where several kids got paralysis, and they also had this particular virus. We can't actually prove that the virus causes this uh, neurologic syndrome and paralysis, but there clearly is an association. These kids present, they've got symptoms of a virus, they have virus in the blood of some of them, and they also have characteristic changes on MRI. But it's certainly scary, and this virus now that is spreading throughout the country in very large numbers of kids, you know, orders of magnitude more than have been reported to the CDC, this virus can have serious symptoms. David, these nine children had fever and respiratory illness about two weeks before developing varying degrees of this limb weakness. What should parents do? Well, this is different than classic viruses. You know, I talked to my brother yesterday who heads the medical intensive care unit of Boston Children. And what he described was that a normal virus takes several days and then you get sicker and sicker and then you call your pediatrician or you go to an emergency room. Well, this virus is zero to 60 in less than 24 hours. Mm. And classically, most of the kids don't have fever. They just present with difficulty breathing. So be aware, if your child is sick at all, keep them home from school. Don't let them go there we have to stop the spread of this virus. And if they at all have difficulty breathing or they start to be weak, you need to talk to your pediatrician about what this could be. So we have the Ebola virus in Africa and we now have this virus. What's going on? Well, the world is flat. Is that, you know, right now anybody can get on a plane and end up anywhere in this country and spread these viruses. And we have to be aware of it. We don't know exactly why there was a dramatic spread this year. But something is happening now. We have multiple viruses, and together with global climate change, things are changing in the virus world, and we have to pay attention. All right, Dr. David Agus, good to see you. Thank you so much.